So come into a cross leg position on the floor for our warm ups. And of course, we're creatures of habit, so go ahead, switch your legs. Make sure that you get things evenly balanced. And ribs in and up to keep that core active and supporting your spine with those sitting on slightly behind you, shoulders above your hips and crown toward the ceiling. Everything aligned. And don't forget to focus inward and breathe, exhaling any tension. And then as you exhale, pull the ribs back, round your shoulders slightly and look down toward the floor. Get that back of your body rounding. And then as you inhale, rotate your face to the front, look up and lift your heart. So drop your shoulders, come into a little upper body back bend as you breathe. And then again, exhale, pull those ribs in, core active as you pull down into that forward position. And then again, inhaling, face forward, chest forward, crown toward the back as you lift through the heart. Don't bring your chin too high, keep stretching it. Once more, exhale forward. And then inhale and come up. One more back bend gently. Shoulders down, and then sit straight up. Just feel your spine a little more activated. Bring one hand down, the opposite arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, slide over to the side. So just lengthen through the whole rib area as you come over. Make sure both sitting bones stay down, bringing your arm right next to your ear. Bend your elbow. On that floor arm, if you want a little extra intensity, but keep both sitting bones as much down as you can. And then inhale that coming up, exhale that side down, switch your legs so we go the other way. And again, the hand goes down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, and above your shoulder. And again, keep the shoulder, shoulder blades down. Arm next to your ear, keep facing forward as you lean to the side. You can slide this hand out or just lean. Make sure both sitting bones stay down as much as you can so those ribs get a good stretch on that other side. You can bend your elbows down toward the elbow down toward the floor for that extra stretch again if you like. It. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Stretch it in. And then inhale back up, exhale, and release. Take a moment there, feeling your body. Bring your arms to your sides. Inhale out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and stretch up. And as you exhale, turn to one side. Bring your hand to that knee, and the other hand right behind you. Stretch up, let the hip you're moving away from come up slightly. As you turn your hips, ribs, and shoulder into your Warm up twist. Take a moment and breathe, stretching through the crown, exhaling and deepening if you love it. And then on an inhalation, raise your arms as you turn back to the center and exhale it down. Switch your legs for our other twist, going the opposite direction. And again, sitting bones behind, crown stretching up with that core activated. Make that spine stretch apart. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, shoulders and shoulder blades go jam. Stretch the fingertips and head up, stretch the spine, exhale, turn into your twist. Hand to the knee and the other one behind you. Take a breath and as you exhale, let the back hip come up slightly as you turn hips, ribs, and shoulder a little further. Take a breath, just relax into it as much as you can. And then again, lengthening up, inhaling, bring your arms back over your shoulders as you turn to the front, and exhale, the other stand. Take a moment to breathe, just feeling your body. And let's come up onto our hands and knees. 
But just take a moment there. Wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. And then move your hands to the edges of the mat. Slide your toes back. Drop your hips. And bring your whole body all the way down. Turning your head to the side. Hands next to your hips. And shoulders down. Take a moment there, resting crocodile, just breathing. On an exhalation, turn your head to the other side. Shoulders down. Try to do some cobras today. <clears throat> so bring your forehead to the mat. And extend your arms along the floor in front of you. Stretch out through the fingertips. Crown <clears throat> our forehead toward the floor. And then bring your fingertips to the heel of your palm and bring your hands back the length of your palm and your elbows out toward the sides. Forehead still on the floor. And then inhale, bring your face to the front, <clears throat> crown toward the ceiling. Tuck your chin back in and push your chest forward and up, coming into that upper body cobra. So on this one, remember, your arms aren't supporting you. They're just positioning. With the hands where they are, you'll have the contraction in your back, the back bend right around the neck area. So be gentle if you need to. Don't lift your chin too far. Make sure you keep stretching the back of your neck. Crown toward the ceiling as much as you can. The ribs are still on the floor. And you're just getting into that upper body back bend. Take a moment there. <clears throat> this is important if you're at your sewing machine a lot because you're probably bending forward there or a computer or anything else. So this is a nice upper body back bend to get that whole upper back stretching a little bit. And then tuck your chin back towards your chest and bring your forehead down. Take a moment there, just relax. And again, bring your fingertips to your heel of the palm. And <clears throat> heels of the palms coming back about to the top of the mat, just above your head. Elbows are out to the sides. Hips, hip, feet hip width apart, hips down. Forehead on the floor. And then again, inhale, face to the front, crane up, tuck the chin back slightly. And then chest forward and up, come maybe a little higher onto your legs. <clears throat> Feel the back bend. Notice where that back bend is maximizing. It's probably right around the top of your shoulder blades this time. Just breathe into it, stretch up through the crown, and appreciate the back bend in that upper back, contracting a little bit where you're usually bending forward. Take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> and then exhaling, bring your forehead back down. When the forehead touches again, bring your fingertips back, heel of the palm back to about temple area of your forehead. Feet stay hip width apart, hips stay down. Forehead starts on the floor. And then again, inhale, face slightly to the front, chin coming back slightly so the back of your neck stretches. And then just a little chest forward and up, crown toward the ceiling, lifting maybe those ribs a little bit more off the floor. Remember, let your spine do the work, not your arms. You can move your hands away just to prove it if you want to. And again, just breathing. Let the chest expand, shoulders and shoulder blades go toward your waist. Take a moment, breathing into that back bend as deeply as you like. And then slowly as you exhale, again, pivot down, bringing your forehead back to the floor. Once more, just relax, breathing, a little bit of stretch through the back of your body as you're in that position. And then choose your position. So if you like that lower shoulder blade area, stay with your hands there. Otherwise, move them slightly out further or more out, depending on how high along your spine you want that contraction. And then 
elbows out to the side, forehead starting on the floor, feet hip width apart, hips relax. Inhale, bring your face to the front, ground up, tuck your chin, stretch the back of your neck, and then chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. And just come into your back bend at your selected point. If you got it wrong, come on back down and bring your hands further out to go higher or closer to your body to go lower toward your shoulder blades. And again, inhaling and coming up. Keep that chin slightly in, ribs on the floor, and just breathe. So remember, no pressure in your arms to let the spine do the work. Back bending is important because we often are forward bending in the car, at our desks, in the kitchen, wherever. So take another breath, maybe a little higher if you love it. And then exhale all the way forehead to the neck. Bring your hands back under your shoulders. <clears throat> and we're pushing back into child's pose for a little counter pose for those back bends. So you're rounding forward just in child's pose. Bring your knees together if you like the low back getting more stretch. <clears throat> or if you have so much upper body back bend that you want to just relaxing, bring your knees slightly apart. Take a breath. Just maximize and minimize for your body there. And then inhale, bringing your hands out to the front. And again, let's come up into table position. Wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Keep those ribs up towards your spine, supporting your low back. Don't let it sag. And knees right under your hips, toes straight back. Take a moment there and breathe. And as you <clears throat> exhale, stretch the whole body apart, getting that contraction through your core, supporting your back. Slide your right foot back, bring it up to hip level, and extend your left arm forward, stretching it out, opposite arm. And then turn your hand toward the ceiling, bend your knee and bring the foot up, flexing your heel. We're gonna go again into a little back bend. So inhale, chest forward, looking slightly forward as you raise your hand and your foot a little higher toward the ceiling. Keep the hips even toward the floor and your shoulders even as well. And then straighten the arm and leg out on toward the floor. Bring your hand down, bend your knee down. Circle that other wrist. Remember, you can also pad under the heel of your palm if you want that a little easier on your wrist. Again, keeping those ribs up, supporting your low back in table position. We're getting ready to do the same thing to the opposite side. So slide your left foot back, bring it up to hip level. Stretch it out, keep that core supporting, and bring your right arm next to your ear, stretching it out. Again, turn your palm up, bend your knee, flex your foot, and again, hips stay even, shoulders even, raise the hand and the foot. Maximize or minimize, remember, do what's right for your body as you go into this little back bend. And then straighten the leg and the arm, down toward the floor, hand to the mat, knee to the floor, back into the position. And again, sink your hips back and circle your wrists. Both ways. Push the heel of the palm out, drop the fingers to the floor, get those wrists working. And again, bring your hands next to your feet all the way into each other. Pose. Take a moment, just rounding forward slightly, stretching it out. And then arms back to the center and to the edges of your mat. Again, pivoting up, dropping your hips. Rolling your body into resting crocodile, head to the side, hands near your hips, palms up. Feet hip width apart. Exhale, turn your head to the opposite side. Stretch your neck evenly whenever we're in our crocodile pose. Take a moment there and breathe. We're going to do another variation of cobras. 
So again, four hip to the mat, this time bending your elbows in towards your waist, hands right next to your face. Take a moment there. Relax through the hips, through the legs, they do nothing. And then inhale, face forward, crown toward the ceiling. Tuck the chin back, slightly toward your chest so the neck keeps stretching. Chest out and up, and coming into a little sphinx cobra. Chest forward, crown toward the ceiling. And again, just relax the lower body, it does nothing. The arms again are just positioning for this one, not supporting. And you'll find that that contraction in your back is a little bit lower again this time because we are having our hands a little closer toward our shoulders. Take a moment and breathe, bringing that chest forward and up, the crown high. Remember, no pressure in the arms, let the spine do the work. That's what Cobra is for. And then exhale, chin toward your chest, forehead toward the floor, just coming gently down into your starting position. Take a moment there, breathing, exhaling tension. You can stay there in the space cobra, or you can bring your hands slightly further back toward your shoulders. The more you bring them toward your shoulders, remember, the more your Contraction goes down your spine toward your low back. So if you've got low back issues, you don't want to go there. And again, palms down, forearms down if you're in the space. And then inhale, face forward, crown up. Again, tuck the chin back, stretch the back of your neck, move the chest forward, and maybe a little pressure in your hands this time, coming into a little higher forward. Crown toward the ceiling, stretching the back of the neck, shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Just making your back contract where you want it to, not going too far toward the low back if that's an issue. Take a moment there, again, breathing, making sure that you're not supporting with your hands, letting the back do the work. We're strengthening the spine. Take a moment and breathe. And then again, exhaling, slowly pivot back down, chuck, chuck the chin slightly, and bring your forehead to the neck. Take a moment as you get there, and exhale, relaxing. And again, stay there if that's where you liked it, or go back to the space if you prefer it. Forehead on the floor, feet hip width apart, and inhale, face forward, ground toward the ceiling. Chin back toward your chest slightly so the neck stretches as you come into your knee draw. Take a moment and breathe, chest forward, crown high, shoulders and shoulder blades down. And remember, not a lot of pressure in your hands or arms, just let the spine or its back bend. Take a moment, maximize or minimize, always do what's right for you making sure that your low back isn't overworking. And exhale, come on, all the way back, forehead to the floor. Hands under your shoulders, and once more, let's go into our child pose counterfaction. Hands next to your feet, just relax your shoulders forward. Feel that stretch where we were back bending just a moment ago. Exhale, don't in. And again, bring your hands out to the front toward the edges of the mat. We're pivoting up and down all the way into our, coat, our crocodile. Head to the side, hands, palms up, shoulders down. Exhale, head to the other side. Take a moment there, just making sure your feet are hip width apart. And bring your forehead again to the foot. So we're going to do a cobra twist. As we do it, remember, only go as high into your cobra as is appropriate for you. So you can pick any of the cobras we've done today and go into your cobra first before we start our twist. But remember, when you go into your twist from the cobra, you still want to stretch the spine apart so it's got room to move. So bring your forehead to the floor. 
Bring your hands under your shoulders for a full cobra. Next to your head with your elbows in for the space, or you can extend them out at any level for the upper body back bend version of the cobra. Hands to the floor, arms down, each hip with the point. And then inhale, face forward, round to the ceiling, tucking your chin, chest forward and up, coming into your cobra as high as you want before you begin your twist. Take a moment there, adjusting anything you need to, making sure the heart is your focus, forward and up, your spine is lengthening and opening and stretching. And then as you exhale, turn, lifting the hips slightly that you're turning toward and moving your ribs and your shoulders toward the side. Take a moment there, breathing, just going as deeply into a twist as your body would like in the cobra that you're in. So remember, your arms really don't support you. Just let the spine do the work of the twist as well as the back bend, feeling this a little different from a regular laying down sort of twist. Take a breath, stretch it out, exhale, maybe raise the hip a little more as you turn to the side. And then stretching through the spine, exhale, and turn back toward the center. Take a moment there. And as you exhale, again, bring your forehead down to the floor. And of course, you know what we're going to do. We're going to do our twist to the other side. So keeping your arms where they are, or adjusting if you need to. Again, inhale, face forward, crown toward the ceiling, chin tucking, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, coming into whatever version of your cobra you love today. Take a moment and breathe, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale again, lift the hip you're turning toward just slightly as you turn your hips, ribs, and shoulders slightly toward that direction. Keep your neck in line with the rest of the spine as you turn, stretch it out through the ground, keep moving into your twist as much or as little as the force you want to really. Take a breath, stretch it out, feel the twist, feel the cobra, and enjoy it. And as you exhale, turn back to the center, take another breath, and exhale, forehead to the middle. Hands under your shoulders, and one more time, coming back into our child pose, stretch. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels, and find either a pillow or blanket or rolled up mat for our final relaxation today. So bring your feet to the end of the mat, coming into your scatch position. Sitting bones behind you slightly, core activated, shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling. And as you exhale, come on all the way down into our corpse position. And then having your extra mat or towel or a pillow nearby, we're going to use that for the relaxation. So arms to the floor, coming slightly up, roll that mat under you lengthwise, and bring your body down. If you've got a pillow or blanket, same thing. Just kind of roll it up and put it under your spine. And let the shoulders drop down, draping down toward the floor. So a little heart opening at the front. Take a moment there and breathe. If you really like a back bend and you want a little more, instead of the lengthwise version of this, just relaxing into your corpse position with the top mat under you. You can turn the mat sideways and bring it at your shoulder blade level and that gives you a little bit more rise to your heart as you're in that position. So whichever version you prefer, just choose what you like. You can move that mat around in that as comfortable for you as is right for you today. 
So whichever version you choose, you can go the length of your spine, your crosswise, your pillow or your blanket or your extra mat rolled up. Just let those shoulders drop down toward the sides, hands, palms up near your hips, turn your toes toward each other, and then just relax your whole lower body and let release any tension. Exhaling just deepen into that relaxing shoulder sinking position. Feeling that heart expand a little bit more as you're in your modified corpse position. Exhale any tension. Just let your body soften and sink. Adjust anything you need to. Allow your body to release and relax completely. And as you breathe deep and let your body soften and sink into the earth support, just let it go. Allowing your awareness to release all the thoughts of your body. And as that happens, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well as you completely relax and open in your heart. Breathing deep, just allow those thoughts to dissipate. Releasing as easily as your breath, floating away without attention. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts flip away. Let your shoulders sink, your heart expand, your body relax, and your mind float freely. No content, just breathing. Focusing inward to the peace within. Breathing, being, peace. With that relaxation today feels really good for you. Just keep relaxing as long as you have time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin breathing more deeply, moving your body gently, drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And if you've got the mat or pillow or blanket under you, just roll it over to the side, releasing down onto the floor. Stretch your body however feels good for you today, moving, moving your wrists and your ankles, whatever feels right. And when you're ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, or your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your head. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, and roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.